guys, welcome to Saturday. We've got a special workout for today called Brianna Taylor. What we're gonna do first though is get warmed up for the movements. You're gonna go 45 seconds on, 15 second transition. First one's gonna be cardio. So this could be your row, ski, bike, jump rope. Uh, you could even go for a quick jog. When you come back, we're gonna go weighted PVC power snatch. So on the power snatch, make sure your arms are all wide enough. So you can bring the knee up to 90 degrees the bar should hit in this hip crease right here, and then my arms need to be out straight and also equidistant on the bar. From here, what I'm gonna do is hook grip. I'm gonna have my shoulders pulled down and back. I'm gonna push my knees out and then push my butt back as the bar comes down just below the knees. From here, I'll keep the bar close and then I'll jump and punch overhead. I'll catch, knees out, butt back. Stand all the way up at the top to complete the rep. If you don't have access to a barbell, what you're gonna do instead is an alternating uh, dumbbell or kettlebell devil press. So what I want you to do is you're gonna have the dumbbell, we're gonna go uh, alternating, so I'm gonna start on the right arm, so I'm gonna go down, touch my chest to the ground. As I jump up, I'm going to snatch the weight overhead. I'll come down, switch it over to my left arm, jump back into my burpee, and then snatch. Next we're going to do is go weighted PVC, weighted PVC hang power cleans. So for this, what I want you to do is measure about a thumb width distance from the hips. A lot of times people are way too narrow, so make sure you give yourself plenty of room. You're going to hook grip and you're going to set up in your deadlift position. You're always going to deadlift the bar first to go into your hang. The hang is anywhere from your hips to your knees. From here, I'll pop, pull my elbows through and stand. I'll come back down. Okay, so that's my hang power clean above the knees. The very first rep though must be deadlifted to your waist before you go into your first rep. If you don't have access to a barbell, instead what you're gonna do is single dumbbell or kettlebell hang power clean. So same thing, you've got to deadlift it up to your waist, you're gonna hike through the hips and then bring it to your shoulder. So you wanna make sure the weight touches the shoulder you're gonna stay on one arm for 25 seconds. At the 25 second mark, you'll switch to the other arm and then hang power clean. Just remember to push that butt back, use the hip drive to get the weight up onto the shoulder. Next what we're gonna do is our up downs and then we'll switch to burpees about halfway through. So for the up down, we're just kicking back into a plank, kicking forward and standing. For our burpee, we're gonna go chest to the deck and then we'll add in a jump and a clap at the top. After that, we're gonna go empty barbell power snatch, or you're gonna to go to two dumbbells now for your devil press. So for this, you're gonna make sure that there's space for your chest to touch the ground in between the weights. You'll go down to do your burpee, hike, and snatch. Come back down. Remember, bend those knees, get that good height position, and then really drive the weight out overhead. Lastly, we're gonna go empty barbell, hang power clean, or we're gonna go our double dumbbell or kettlebell, hang power clean. So for this, both heads have to touch, stand all the way up, stay in that hang position, come up to the shoulders. You can keep the weights on the outside of your legs, or you can go inside. Okay, main thing is just deadlift the weight first and then perform the movement. If you need to put the weights down, just remember to deadlift first before you start again. Then you're gonna take about four minutes to warm up to your working weight. So for the workout, guys, it is a 26 minute AMRAP. This is three barbell power snatches. Uh, the weight's gonna be on the heavier side. It's gonna be 135 for the guys. 93 for the ladies, or double dumbbell, kettlebell, double press. Ideally, if you have 50s guys, use that. Ladies, use 235s. Then we're gonna go 13 uh, barbell hang power cleans, or your double dumbbell or kettlebell hang power cleans. Again, I can't stress this enough. You gotta deadlift the weight first before you go to your hang. Then you're gonna go 200 meter, either row, run, ski, bike, or a minute of jump rope or jumping jacks. For um, today's workout, guys, whenever the coach 
says eight burpees, you're going to stop wherever you are and you're going to perform eight burpees. So that could be every two minutes, it could be every 10 minutes. If you won't know, that's part of the WAD. You can read about why I programmed that in the comment section uh, below, or you can read about it in Zen Planner. But whenever the coach says eight burpees, you're going to stop what you're doing, eight burpees, and then just pick up wherever you left off. For those of you that are at home that don't have a coach to randomly yell out eight burpees, what you're doing instead is that double press. So the double press includes a burpee in it. So I'm just making sure that you get in your 20 burpees for today with that devil press movement. The other thing is you gotta use the same weight for the barbell. So if the snatch is a hard movement for you, then scale it according to that. Most uh, people can hang power clean more than they can snatch. However, you also wanna factor in that there's 13 reps. They don't need to be unbroken. I would suggest breaking it up into two sets, maybe as you get tired, three sets. And then just for scoring purposes, guys, uh, you're gonna tell us how many rounds and reps you finished, any modifications you made or what weights you used. And then also just know every 10 meters, if you're on a machine, equals one rep. Okay, so the 200 meter row uh, would be 20 reps for that. So if you're in the middle of, say, your fifth uh, round and you got your three snatches, your 13 hang cleans, and 10 meters, that's gonna be three plus 13 plus one. 17. So be sure to capture that in the comments below and in Zen Planner. And then lastly is our daily mobility. We're going to go 50 seconds on, 10 second transition. Uh, there's six different, uh, three different movements we're going to perform each on the right and left hand side of the body. First one's going to be a tricep stretch. So for this one, what you're going to do is just grab the tricep, pull it up towards your ear, and hold here. And then you'll switch to the left arm after that. Next one is a figure four stretch. So what we're doing is stretching out the glute and this IT band. So we're gonna get into this figure four stretch. I'm gonna put my hands through my thigh. This right elbow is kind of pushing this right knee out as I go into my stretch. And then I'll switch to the other side here. And then the last one is gonna be our standing hamstring stretch where I'm just gonna take right leg over left and then fold over like a rag doll. After a minute on one leg, we'll switch over to the other leg. And then you've got your daily mobility in. You will have gotten in your 20 burpees for today. Uh, if you have any questions about today's workout, please let us know. Uh, as always, guys, move well. Good luck. Have fun.